Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to my Eretz guide. So, Eretz are a monster that requires 92 Slayer to kill, and you can get assigned them from Kuridil and Kuridil only. So, there are multiple different ways to kill these. Um, they are like level 175 monsters, so they are fairly strong, they can do a bit of damage. Um, it, it can be nice to bring some emergency food if this is like your first time here, because they do have a special attack which can do a fair amount of damage. Um, so if you feel comfortable with it, you can always just go to your bank and bring a couple food. Um, if you are using range or mage, you will never need any food here. Uh, however, if you are using magic, which I would recommend because this is the fastest way to kill them, uh, you do possibly want a couple of food because you cannot dodge their special attack with magic. So if they start their special attack at the very start of the kill, they can like take away half your LP. Okay, so we're going to go over the gear and stats that I have. Again, I am wearing uh, pretty high level gear and stats, but these are a level 92 Slayer monsters, so they do have pretty high requirements to kill them. I will give a couple suggestions of things that you can downgrade if you don't quite have the equipment and stats that I do. So first of all, at the gear, um, you want to be wearing a Slayer helmet if you're on task like I am at the moment. I wouldn't really recommend killing these off task because there's other monsters that are better money. Um, but these are exceptional Slayer XP, one of the best Slayer XP rates in the game. I was getting 163k XP per hour with Magic um, versus 145k XP per hour with Dragors, if you want a comparison there. So Magic is definitely worth using here. Um, an Arcane Stream Necklace, which is the best uh, Magic Critical boosting necklace in the game. A Completion Escape, um, obviously if you don't have that you can wear like a Skill Cape, would work just fine. I, I would highly recommend War Priest here um, over even Subjugation or Virtus just because if they go into range mode and you're wearing magic armor you're going to get torn. Um, also when they do switch into range mode, magic has an extremely low accuracy even though these monsters say that they have no weakness, they do. Um, so you only want to be attacking the ones in melee mode. I'll show you what that looks like. Never attack the ones in range mode. And they can switch in between kills or during a kill which is why I have the Dragors here. Um, so it's much faster to kill them when, uh, while they're in range mode. I have a Ferocious Ring because I was killing them in the Curdle Dungeon, but I will be showing you the other spot to kill them. Uh, Ragefire Boots and War Priest Gauntlets. I just wear these during every task. They're not particularly helpful. I would recommend the Penance Aura here. It's great. Um, extreme Magic, some potions for Turmoil and Soul Split. Uh, Yak Scrolls, runes for Air Surge. Dragors to switch into when they change into melee mode, um, so you can kill them much faster. Uh, Charming Imp teleport out and a yak with uh, more prayer potions in it. If you are using penance during a task and you have that ore activated and you're gaining prayer from that um, and you're going to be using turmoil and soul split the whole time which I'd highly recommend uh, about 25 prayer potions is good for an Eretz task. 20 to 25 will get you through and if you don't have penance then just fill up your yak. Um, but what you want to tell you to is the Piscatoris hunting area which is AKQ on the fairy ring and you just uh, run a short ways to the west and you'll get straight to the Eretz. Um, but anyway, uh, these are quite fast to kill with magic. So I'll show you what I mean here really quickly. This Eret, as you see it just stood up, that means it's changing into melee mode. The Eretz that are standing up is melee mode. Um, on all fours, that is range mode. Do not attack the Eretz that are on all fours, you will regret it. Only attack the Eretz that are standing up. Uh, the Eretz that are on all fours, you will splash a lot against. However, Drygors do quite well against them. So, um, if you do decide to Drygor this task, which I would not recommend because Mage is much faster. Uh, but if you do decide to do that, just in case you like you need combat XP or something, uh, you do want to only attack the ranged ones. So, we just turn on Turmoil and pot up normally, but I'm about to go, so I'm not going to pot up right now. Um, and just attack the Eretz. So, since the, the threshold, if... Uh, Melee and range have thresholds that can stop their special attack. Magic does not. Um, so the general advice here is to get up to sunshine as soon as possible because there's no need to save adrenaline for thresholds. And then just absolutely poo in their face. Um, so that's the general idea here. You kill them so fast. And I'll try to get a kill where an Eret changes into um, range mode in the middle of a kill to show you exactly what I do there. Uh, but yeah, as you see, magic just absolutely tears them. So here, that, that's their special attack when they pound their chest. Um, don't worry about it when they're in melee mode because, again, if you're wearing magic armor or war priest armor, you're going to have decent defense against it, and it's not really going to worry you too much. Uh, but if they do that while they're in range mode, you can really get torn, so look out for that. 
But you always want to yak all the arrowroot bones. They're about 10.5k each, so definitely worth yakking as many of those as possible. Uh, you can earn a good... I've been earning about 3 mil per task for arrowroots. And as you see, he just switched into range mode. So when he does that, immediately put on your dry gores and just destroy his face. That's what I do. Um, because, trust me, if you try to attack him while he's in range mode with magic, you will splash a lot and just get frustrated. So... Uh, we have a full adrenaline bar, let's sunshine it up and absolutely destroy these Eretz. They have no chance. They are done. So yeah, I love the sunshine. It's my favorite ability in the game, to be completely honest. I'm splashing a lot here for some reason. Usually that doesn't happen. Um, I am not magic potted. That might be part of it. But anyway, I normally would be. Uh, again, ex always remember to extreme magic and turmoil every single one of your Slayer tasks because it does help a lot. Uh, extreme magics aren't too expensive to make, and uh, turmoil, again, prayer pots are really cheap. They're like 2.5k each, and it takes a good five minutes to go through one prayer pot, so they're not expensive to use at all, even if you are on a tight budget. And they'll, sp they'll speed up your task so much that it's really worth using. It's a good difference between like 10k Slayer XP per hour if you're using turmoil or not. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed these tips. Just remember, if you don't have Drygars, you can also bring like a Chaotic Maul or Dual Chaotics. And again, that will be far more accurate on the uh, Eretz than the Chaotic Staff will be while they're in range mode. So yeah, those are just some tips for you guys. Uh, good luck with this task, and uh, have fun. Farewell.